What is going on guys, Joe here back with another video and we recently got this gift from the folks over at Google. So as you may or may not know, they just held their event this week announcing their latest Google Pixel phone, which is the Pixel 4. And that is what we have here in this cool looking box. So in this video, we'll be checking it out, unboxing it and give you my first impressions of it and see what it's all about. Now I know I haven't covered Pixel in the past, but fun fact, I actually have been using the Google Pixel 3a XL, and that's honestly the first Pixel I've ever even used. Years ago, I did use the Nexus and things like that, but up until this year, that's when I started using the Google Pixel. Now, one thing I really enjoy about the Google Pixel products is that it's straight Google and there's no bloatware to their software or anything like that. It's a straight Android experience. So this box isn't what you will get when you purchase a Pixel 4, as this is a press kit, but what comes inside should be what you can expect when purchasing one. But we do get presented with the Pixel 4. This is the larger XL model, but there is a smaller Pixel 4 model if you decide to opt for that one. Now you do get a SIM ejecting tool along with some literature, warranty information. We also get a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is great as everything is going that route nowadays. Everything's going to USB-C and Android has adopted that for a couple years now. But there's also a USB-A to USB-C adapter to help transferring data from your previous device to the new Google Pixel 4. And we also get an 18 watt fast charging wall adapter. So you do get fast charging on this, which is always a great feature to have. Zero to 50% in about 30 minutes is always nice. Now I received the Pixel 4 XL in the clearly white color option. The design has changed a bit from last year with it now having a matte finish on the back. Around the sides, you also get a matte finish and it does feel a little bit slippery. So you may want to get a case which Google was awesome enough to provide a case with this unit, which is cool. And I really like the texture on their cases. This case by Google definitely adds that extra grip to it. But on the side, right above the volume buttons, you do get an orange accent color for the power and sleep button. Now, if this clearly white color isn't your thing, the Pixel 4 also comes into other color options. You have Oso orange and just black. And yeah, that's the names of those colors. Strange they don't just give it a simple color name instead of these random clearly white, also orange and just black names, but hey, whatever. But the Pixel 4 XL rocks a 6.3 inch Quad HD plus OLED display and has a dynamic refresh rate, which will adjust between 90 Hertz and 60 Hertz when using the device. Now, if you've never used a device that has a higher refresh rate than the typical 60 Hertz, like on iPhones and other devices, you definitely should try it out. Simply put, the 90 hertz refresh rate means it's able to refresh the screen at 90 times per second. So it is very, very smooth when browsing through the menus, apps, and just gives you that instant feeling of the device being extremely fast. Now you may not be able to tell on this video, but just know it is eye pleasing. If for some reason you're not a fan of this with the higher refresh rate and want to save some battery because this does increase battery usage, you can toggle it on and off in the settings. Now, speaking of battery, the Pixel 4 XL does have a 3700 milliamp battery and it also supports fast wireless charging. And Google is saying it'll give you an all day battery, but really won't know up until I give my full test and using it day to day as my daily device. Now, one of the new features that the Pixel 4 supports is this new motion sense, which uses a new radar sensor that's built into the front of the phone. So if you're playing, for example, some music, you can easily wave your hand across the screen and it'll allow you to skip the song or just navigate around your music. Now, you can also snooze or silence your alarms or even calls just by waving your hand above the screen. So with motion sense, it's able to detect that your hand is getting nearby and the ringtone will get a little quieter and with a simple wave, you can dismiss or snooze that timer or alarm. Now processor wise in the Pixel 4, it does rock a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. Inside you also get six gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now if 64 gigabytes isn't enough, you also get a 128 gigabyte storage option as well to choose from. And one of the things that really stood out with Google Pixel devices, at least last year, 
is that if you purchase the Google Pixel 3, you get unlimited amount of storage for Google Photos. So if you wanted to upload all of your Google Photos at original quality, you can do that. But on the Pixel 4, unfortunately, it seems like they removed this feature. So if you still wanna upload your photos and videos to Google Photos, you can, but it only gives you unlimited storage at high quality, not original quality. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Pixel devices, they've been well known for their camera software because their cameras do take some really nice photos and not to mention up until now, they're doing it all with one single camera sensor. This year, the Pixel 4 has added a new second rear telephoto camera sensor and unlike many other manufacturers, Google decided to opt out of the ultra wide angle game this year, which is unfortunate because I personally like taking ultra wide angle shots. But Google is really standing behind the telephoto lens, which is gonna be a 16 megapixel telephoto camera. And you also get a 12.2 megapixel camera with an f-stop of 1.7. The telephoto has an f-stop of 2.4. Now, one of the new additions to their camera software is the new astrophotography on night sight. So if you've ever wanted to take a picture of stars at night and you use the Pixel 4, you're probably gonna get some pretty dope shots. So I tried to do this here. I did use a tripod just to kind of give it a quick little sample of it. Didn't see many stars, but here's a quick little sample of that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you a fan of astrophotography or just in general the night sight? I'm a big fan of night sight and pretty amazed that the Pixel 4 is able to do what it's able to do with these cameras, especially during low light situations. Now on the front, the Pixel 4 now goes from a dual camera from last year now to just one single eight megapixel wide angle camera on the front. But alongside that front facing camera, as you notice on the front, you do get a forehead on this. So it doesn't have a notch like other smartphones nowadays. Instead, Google decided to leave a forehead on here and embed some more sensors for the face unlocking. And speaking about face unlocking, the Pixel 4 definitely unlocks pretty quickly with using the face unlock feature. When you're getting near your phone, it starts to wake up because it uses motion sense that's built into the Pixel 4. And by the time you lift it up to look at it, it unlocks. It's really, really fast. The only downside of it, there needs to be some adjustments to that because whether your eyes are open or not, it still unlocks, which is not good. Now, aside from that, you also get a faster Google Assistant, a redesigned Google Assistant on the Pixel 4. It's able to work faster and it's smarter. But if you are interested in the Pixel 4 or the Pixel 4 XL, pre-orders are going on currently as of shooting this video. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link down below in the description. But you can pick up a Pixel 4 for $799. And this model, the Pixel 4 XL, is going to retail for $899. And those are for the 64 gigabyte models. If you're interested in the 128 gigabyte storage models, those are gonna be $100 more. So what are your thoughts? Are you into the Pixel 4? I know I haven't covered much Android stuff here on the channel as I used to, but I wanted to throw this into the mix and start covering Android things because of course I use both. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you interested in Android or Pixel or what device do you currently rock? Also, let me know what you wanna see from the Pixel 4. Is there any tests you wanna see? Things like that. I'd definitely be open to suggestions of what my upcoming video could be. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But as always, if you did enjoy this video, let me know by hitting that like button down below as it not only lets me know that you enjoyed it, but it also shows support to the channel. And if you're not following yet on social media, I'll leave those linked down below. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on future videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much and uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.